Hi everyone, my name is Lee Kahn. I'm the Materials Testing Lab Manager and Professional Engineer out of the Fort Myers, Florida office. I'd like to introduce you to the pride and joy of our lab, our two concrete permeability apparatuses. We purchased our first one in 2017 and with an increase in demand and backlog, we pulled the trigger on a second one in 2019 to expand our testing capabilities. The equipment is capable of pressures up to 500 psi, which would be equivalent to a water depth of approximately 1,000 feet. Between both apparatuses, we can test up to eight specimens at a single time. With this equipment, we primarily follow the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers test method, CRDC-48, which is the water permeability of concrete. The purpose of this test method is to apply Darcy's law for single directional flow at a constant head to determine the hydraulic conductivity, or K value, for concrete when subjected to water at a pressure of 200 psi. Locally, this test has primarily been required by the South Florida Water Management District to ensure concrete mix designs meet project specifications for pump stations, culverts, and other various water control structures. We have also performed this test for residential pools. For example, we determined the quantity of water permeating through the concrete walls, which caused decorative tiles to delaminate from the concrete surface. The apparatus works by inserting a cut specimen in between two steel plates and a rubber gasket. The steel plates are then tightened to expand the rubber gasket around the test specimen, creating a watertight environment. At this point, the chamber is closed and water is introduced into the chamber. We then increase the water pressure to 100 psi to check for any apparent leaks around the test specimen. Once the specimen and chamber are confirmed to be watertight, the water pressure is increased to 200 psi for the duration of the test. We have seen tests completed within three weeks and last as long as three months, which is all dependent on admixtures, water to cement ratio, and other variables within the concrete's mix design. There are two other test methods performed utilizing different equipment that typically goes hand in hand with the water permeability of concrete. The first method is ASTM C1202 or AASHTO T277, which is concrete's ability to resist chloride ion penetration, also known as rapid chloride ion penetration. The second method is AASHTO T358, which is concrete surface resistivity, both of which we can perform right here in Fort Myers. Thanks for watching. Should you have any questions about our capabilities of testing water permeability of concrete, or would like additional information on the rapid chloride ion penetration test, or the surface resistivity test, please feel free to reach out to us at any time.